Hong Kong Yang, and the course students always call me uh, Professor Yang. I'm an associate professor here. I uh, have been here for eight years, as you guys know, and then I'm mostly working on earthquakes. You know, trying to understand uh, how earthquakes occur, and what will be the impact, and so on and so on. An important thing uh, related to seismology is that a lot of places are facing the threat from potential earthquake hazard. You know, even for a place like Hong Kong, and then we'll all say, oh, we are far away from play boundaries, but there are faults nearby. And considering the population, high-rise buildings, and so on, if there is a, you know, not a very large earthquake, but then with a moderate magnitude, and then they may still cause a lot of unrest in the society. And on the other hand, we always want to advance our understanding in the theoretical background. And the very simple question, how do earthquakes really occur? Why the fault stay there not having any motion, but then suddenly move very fast? You know, these questions are still intriguing and then uh, we are quite interested in those parts as well. Initially, some students may wonder, what can I do? After I learn, you know, the knowledge in earth science, actually learning earth science, in, no matter in geophysics or in atmospheric science, and then you will get a uh, strong training uh, in your logical thinking and then critical thinking skills. I can see, I'm, I'm very happy to see that some ESSC students graduate and then work in some other field. They may not directly use, for example, the knowledge of the weather change or the, how the seismic waves are propagating. But then they use some, you know, the skills they learned or they got trained from, you know, the process. And then they eventually can apply in their future career path. So, uh, you, you may unmute yourself. Normally, I would like to ask questions. I will ask the students to think about in their own way, uh, to raise questions, also to respond to certain questions which might be difficult. But again, I, I always encourage students to express your own uh, thoughts and to share with others. Of course, another uh, perspective is that, you know, my courses usually involve certain amount of math. You know, I have to go with the mathematical process. All right, but for me, enjoyable moment is not just to use the math symbols, but then to, to really understand what is behind, what is the physical process, why we want to use that. So that's, uh, if you ask me how would I describe my teaching style, then I think I'm always emphasizing on physics, but then math is an important tool, necessary tool for us to use. SSC is special, I think, in terms of uh, professor and student interaction. For, for example, students who said they always like to invite professor to participate in some events. In the first year or two, and sometimes we go out with students to, to eat in Dai Pai Dong. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, like a professor Chen and myself and then some of us, and we'll go out to eat with students, which is really fun. And that is also my style starting point to learn Cantonese. Mm. Although my Cantonese right now is still very limited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a very good student to see that. <laughs> but uh, I think that is a really, uh, you know, uh, incredible moment, really fun. Mm. And we directly interact with students and talk in a more casual, you know, around the dinner table. Uh, I think like uh, physics of jazz actually you play the guitar, right? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, like music. Oh yeah, that is also one of the memorable moments, but which is not very good per se. <laughs> when I first tried to use a guitar, I was not not really playing. I, I oh. used a guitar to demonstrate the wave propagation. <laughs> in seismology. Unfortunately, after I demonstrated that, not very long ago in 2020, then the pandemic started to really spread out, and then we have to go with online teaching mode. And this year, 2022, and then, uh, you know, in Hong Kong, pandemic was well in control, and so we resumed classroom teaching, and then I used the guitar to demonstrate that again. However, this is 2022. <laughs> so, after I played 
after that, and then uh, only uh, maybe two more lectures, and then we have to switch to online teaching mode again. Uh, <laughs> or, uh, yeah, so I'm joking to other students, and then probably I shouldn't play. <laughs> I shouldn't play guitar anymore. <laughs> Well, definitely I can feel the growth of the students. And then I can feel that we are no, uh, not only having more students, but our students are gaining more confidence, right? And then also they found really the fun part in learning the knowledge in ESSC. And then for the Outlook, because we, we are now merging into a new program, which is called Earth and Environmental Science Program. Uh, I think we, uh, that will be a good thing to have an even broader view and to enjoy the new curriculum that covers geophysics, geology, and then atmospheric science and environmental science and part of the environmental engineering. And then eventually we may find out a more direct reward of the learning experience in ESSE and future EESC. So in that case, then you guys can provide more direct experience and demonstration for future students to know uh, what you can do, why you want to come to this program and learn something over here.